And now let's get down to business with your spirit run. The last time that we dealt with the niece based spirits, we were dealing with absent. We asked a friend of ours, Ted Bro, to come in and help us with it. Ted is the reason that absinthe is legal in the United States, and he knows all about pastis as well. Pastis is the successor to absinthe in France. There are very few actual artisanal distillers of pastis today, so you have the unique distinction of showing us what you can do. So I wish you all the best of luck. Four hours on the table, your best jar. Your time starts now. Get busy, guys. Now, Ted, do we have a minimum proof we need? As far as the distillate goes, 140 would be minimum. Pastis is bottled at a lower proof than that, but still it's high enough to keep the the anise component, the anethole, in solution. I expect we're going to see three distinctly different results here. Ordovich, have you ever bottom fired a steel like this with that many botanicals? I usually use electric plates, so I might start turning the heat down just a bit, just so I don't get any scorching. Always a concern with the direct fired stills. Thank you, sir. I really didn't want my grain flavors coming through on the final run, so I assembled that thumper in there to try and get it a little more neutral. And then I pulled all those botanicals off my maceration and put them into that thumper just to make sure that any oils that were lingering would carry through on the condensation. I did do a hot bag. that had a little bit of licorice, um, coriander, and star anise. We'll see what comes out of all this. I'm excited. Ordovich, you're already running liquor. I am. You are. So let's kick it. Oh, I got distillate. No puking today. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yeah? Got just a lit? It's starting to drip. Guys, two hours left, and you run. There's your thumping. Lots of thumping. I think I just saw a leak. It is. It's coming out of that union. That's not good. Bummer. A lot of alcohol. Boys, you got one hour left. OK. So with the knee space spirits, is you get that anethahol, and it's a numbing effect on your on your tongue, and it, it it just wrecks your palate as far as trying to continue tasting and picking things apart. Oh man, I can't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna make a fourth jar. <laughs> Boys, you're down to 20 minutes. All in, all done at that point. Yes, sir. Six and eight might be it. Oh yeah. I'm Lucian all the way down. I'm happy. Juice box seems to be ready to turn his in. Quite possibly the most important jar of my life right there. <laughs> I hope you guys well, enjoy it. Thank you, Juice Box. One down and two to go. Tyler's uh, still in the mixing lab, and Ordovich is doing a lot of tasting. I'm trying to figure out if I want to give you guys my 50-50 blend, or if I want to add to the mouthfeel. Guys, you got five minutes. Make them count. I think I'm ready. This is as close as I'm going to get. Put your name on your jar. Yes, you did. I think I'm ready, too. You're on point. Uh, I said my prayers. I think she's the one. Good luck. Uh, All right, thank you, guys. I have brought with me this absinthe fountain slash pastis fountain. Like absinthe, you don't drink pastis right out of the bottle. You pour a shot into a glass, and you add enough ice water to make it cool and cloudy. So I'm expecting what we'll taste in here is basically a fiery anise spirit. It can be hot at this point, but the flavor should be smooth. We can start with juice box. He's the first one to turn in. Works for me. All right, let's shake it. Oh, Ooh. boy. Well, he's probably pretty close to 140. It is going to be a little bit intimidating to, to have Ted taste our stuff and get his opinion. It's a nice, thick effect. He's definitely got some botanical content in it. Should have a, a strong anise flavor. A little hot right up front, but that's OK. Yeah. That's, that's normal. I want to say it smells like licorice. It's got a buttery mouthfeel. I really like that. There's a little bit of numbing effect. I a think. little bit of an anesthetizing effect because it's uh, it's pretty hot. Honestly, a juice box, it's pretty pleasant. Kind of right? nailed it. Well, let's get another jar. Tyler. Tyler. Oh. Boom. Very yeah. high proof. It's 140. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little worried I do this for, for a living, and so I feel like I have something to prove. And if I don't win, I'll be, you know, Feel pretty beaten up. Look at that thing, Paul. Look at that. There you go. It's nice and thick. Big cloudy white. 
a little bit lighter on the nose. The intensity of, of flavor is a little softer. And one thing that we need to keep in mind is once you go to the next step and you add more botanicals, will it become too soft in the end? To me, it's very anise forward. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because generally speaking, pastis is fairly straightforward. I'd be quicker to drink a second glass of this than I would the first thing I taste. On to the next one. All right, here we go. The order of it. Oh, she's 140. I was debating whether or not I should use a 50-50 blend. That's eventually what I submitted. I wanted to stay true to what I would have done in a commercial production. It's loosening very quickly because it's got uh, quite a, a bit of anise content. It appears a little harsher to me. And I'm getting a minty uh, vegetal note, almost like a touch of salad. Probably came from all that lemon balm. I think the one thing that could hurt Ordovich is I think I've got something in here that just doesn't really taste like it belongs in pasties to me. OK. OK? I think you've got several different instruments here. And you got a trumpet or something in there that's just kind of playing a sour note that's a little bit flat. If everybody's in agreement, I'm going to go Let's fetch go get him. Here go. Welcome back, man. We'll move through rather quickly. We've all got a lot to say, but juice box. Yours had a good mouthfeel. You brought the proof up. It was great juice box, the way you had added your botanicals and stuff at the end there to enhance in that gin basket. Juice box, uh, I was wondering if you would get enough flavor, but you definitely did. Really interesting with the anise. You definitely had something to work with there. Tyler, yours was, was a little less boom. It was a, it was mellow taste, refreshing on the tongue, had a nice back end to it. I think you did a great job in what you put in your steel, and then you also added some to your thumper also to enhance that profile all the way through. Ordovich, yours was kind of boom to me, you know. I assume that's because you cooked all the botanicals in with it. For me, it's very complex. I'm tasting a lot of different things out of your jar. There was just a little bit of something botanical in there that was just a touch of a sour note. All that being said, the sucky part of our job is cutting somebody out of the herd. Ordovich, unfortunately, your jar bought you a ticket home, buddy. I'm awful sorry. I'm definitely heartbroken right now. And, you know, it just so happens that we all did a great job, but I didn't quite cut it.